Hello and welcome to CNCF Minutes. In this video, we'll be discussing about a new project called CureT or Cure, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, and before that, this video is brought to you by Armo Commodore, Avesha, Sesdig, Instruct, and Same AI. Thank you to all the members to check them out. Links are in the description. So let's dive right into CureD. So CureD is a Kubernetes daemon set that performs safe automatic node reboots when the need to do so is indicated by the package management system. So basically it checks for this particular file, which is a slash var run reboot required. So there comes scenarios where you need to patch the operating system and you need the update of that, uh, or you are installing a piece of software that requires a reboot of that particular instance. So it will always check for the presence of slash var run reboot required, uh, you know, and after this, it will automatically cordon and drain the worker node before the reboot and then uncordon it after rebooting. So that's what QD does. Also, it utilizes the API server locking capabilities to ensure that only one node reboots at a time. Optionally, uh, it defers reboot in the presence of active Prometheus alerts and or selected pods. So very simple. It is a CNCF sandbox project. And let's go to the documentation. We can again see that it, it watches the presence of this file, utilizes the log, all these things. Uh, these are the OS capabilities. Yeah, this is the installation commands. So now I have a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, this is a very old Kubernetes cluster of mine uh, that I have created. Like it's 232 days old. It's fantastic, right? So let's install QRD on that. Um, let's get this. And then kubectl apply. So it has created cluster role, cluster role binding, role, role binding, service account, and daemon set. So we are most interested in the daemon set. So let's check that, kubectl, get pods, hyphen, and cube system. And you can see all the QD pods are running, uh, one on the control plane and three on the worker node. So it's running as a daemon set. Uh, what we can do is we can do a hyphen O wide and grep QD so that we only get the relevant pods with relevant IPs and the node name. So we can see that this particular pod is running on the worker one. This is what we'll be playing around with. Now, if we go back to the documentation, we can see that there are tons of commands that we can pass. Like we can have uh, the alerts filtering annotation of the nodes. We can define the period, which we'll be doing just right away. We can do the reboot command, give the Prometheus URL because QD exposes a Prometheus metrics as well. We can check that using curl um, IP and see the metrics and we can see the Prometheus metrics which is exported. Um, so we can use that, create alerts and all sorts of stuff. So what we are going to do is since the default grace period, I think is 60 minutes. Yes, yeah, 60 minutes, it will check for this uh, file. What we are going to do is we are going to quickly uh, tweak that period. So let's do kubectl edit, uh, daemon set, cure d, cube system. And in this, after this particular command, we can add these flags. So let's add the flag hyphen hyphen period so we'll give zero hours zero minutes and 30 seconds that should be fine let's check if the pods have come up fine yes all the pods are running and you can see they have restarted with the latest, latest configuration now in order to test this, what we are going to do is we will be manually creating this command, uh, this file on worker one. So on one side, what we can do is we can have kubectl logs of this particular pod. And we can see that it is checking after every 30 seconds. So that is one. Uh, let's uh, open another instance of this particular node of the master one. And here we'll put a watch on the nodes. So kubectl get nodes watch. So we can see that all the nodes are in ready state. So once we have done the kubectl get nodes 
watch, we can see all nodes are in ready state. If we go back and see the logs, we can see that every 30 seconds, it is checking for the reboot if it's required or not. And you can see the message that it is not required. Now let us manually trigger the reboot. So we'll touch this particular file, like touch var run reboot required. Let's do that. Now the next check, it is waiting for the reboot. The pod has died. Come here and we will be see schedule, scheduling disabled and it will be draining the road and it will be restarting. And after the restart rebooting is done, it will also uncoordinate it. So let's go back to the documentation. So we can see uh, these are the flags that you can set on the daemon set. You can also set a Slack username, Slack channel, uh, post the notifications to the Slack. You can also give time zone, start time and start time, like which time period you want to reboot it. Um, so all these things can be uh, given. See, you can give a start time and uh, end time, and you can give the Prometheus URL, alert filters. Uh, you can also uh, block reboots via the pods, add node labels before and after the reboots. Uh, so these are the node labels that can be added as well. Uh, metrics I've already shown you, notifications of Slack is, uh, is there. Testing we have all done, we can disable the reboots as well. We can make it manual and we can unlock that as well. So yeah, this is it for QOD um, in a nutshell, how it works. Uh, you can go to the documentation, check it out, check out the project yourself. And we can uh, see here that the worker one is already ready after being not ready for a while. And yes, even the scheduling uncoordinating of the node is done. So if I just do kubectl get nodes, you can see that all the nodes are ready and happy once again. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this particular video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the CNCF minutes and uh, see you in the next video. Do let me know in the comment section what all CNCF minutes you need. And if you like the video, uh, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, which keeps me going. And again, thanks to all the members who keep supporting my work. Uh, Armo, Commodore, Avesha, Sysdig, Instruct, and Slim AI. All the links are in description. Make sure to check them out and support their work as well.